Good morning, good morning, men and women of God. This is God's servant, Tammy Carter, with Fire Deliverance Ministries. Hallelujah. And I'm saying good morning to my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And I just wanted to stop by with a quick word on this morning. I mean, really quick because, hallelujah, I'm headed to work, about to go into my job. But I want to bring um, a scripture on today. Hallelujah. 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 But before I do, let me go into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I ask for forgiveness, God, of all my sins, oh God. I pray that you would purify me, oh God, to enter into your courts, oh God. I, hallelujah. I give you thanks for a word on today that will touch the minds and the hearts of your children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that will, hallelujah, penetrate your daughters, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that they will re Repent, O oh God, and put away Satan's devices in his properties, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, and, 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 and come on the road to holiness, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I give you thanks for doing it on today, Father. People of God, hallelujah. My daughters in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. Because I'm going with what the word says. The word says the older women are supposed to teach the younger women about life, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the churches are not teaching it, so God is sending out his chosen to give you a word on how to live. The Bible says in Mark 8, starting at verse 34 and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also he said unto them whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the gospels the same shall save it for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. People of God know today that you got to put away the devices of the enemy. You got to be willing to let it all go for God. You got to let go, hallelujah, of all your vainness, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to be willing to let go. Women, I'm speaking to you and I'm going to continue to speak to you. You got to be willing to let go. Hallelujah. Your fake hair. Hallelujah. Your eyelashes in your makeup. Hallelujah. That's the process of dying in the spirit realm and put on putting on sanctification. Hallelujah. You got to be willing to say, God, whatever you want, I will do. You can not and you should not no longer allow the enemy to come through you through the spirit of rejection and say I don't have to do this and I don't have to do that. God see his daughters are in error and he's sending out his messengers to give you a warning to get your house in order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to know and understand being a messenger of God God is a is 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 truly you're being hated by the world because the world don't want you to hear what God is saying. Why don't the world want you to hear it? Because the world is ruled by spiritual um powers that 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 have the bodies under control and they don't want you to hear what God what the spirit is saying to the church. Hallelujah. Even though I'm looking at that man or that woman in the natural realm in the spirit realm there is principalities and powers that are in that earth and vessel and that's why when I look at your face and I know that you're mad and when you can't stand what I say it's because I know what is working through you hallelujah that's why you got to kill the flesh you got to get them up out of there and you got to let the light break through the darkness and you got to let the Lord fill your vessel and when God 
fills your vessel. Now the light is in and you can receive what the spirit is saying to the church. But when there's other powers that are in your body, evil spirits that are warring against you hearing what the spirit is saying, you can't receive it. And the longer that you allow them to stay on the territory is the far is the is the is the um it's the time that you're going to be separated from the truth and the fullness of God. Hallelujah. Because when you enter into the fullness of God, then you will receive everything that God has for you. Hallelujah. What will you let separate you from the love of God? Hallelujah. Don't let nothing or nobody separate you from God and his goodness. Children of God, the Bible says to deny yourself. Hallelujah. And you say, woman of God, how do you deny yourself? Well, let me tell you my own personal testimony. When I began to go through the sanctification process, not only was it about makeup and was it about clothing, but it also was about food. Hallelujah. And I know everybody can't do what I do. Hallelujah. And I know everybody ain't called to what I'm called to do. I can only stay in my lane and work on my assignment. But in my assignment, hallelujah, I had to get everything right because I know that everything is spiritual. Even food is spiritual. Look on some of the products that you consume. Hallelujah. I used to love ginger ale and I used to like the um, Seagram's ginger ale. But when I look at it and I look at the symbol on it, hallelujah, it's some things that I just can't do. It's And I used to like to go into Chinese restaurants. I I used to like fried rice, but if I go into that restaurant and I see your God and your uh, um your statue is sitting there, I can't eat in your restaurant in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to say this one last thing and I got to go because my time is short, but you know, I'm always going to come back and visit what I said. Hallelujah. And even a hallelujah. When I would drink coffee, something just didn't feel right. This, um, um, I'm consuming coffee would make my body jitter and would make me all hyper. So I know something in the, in, um, um, that cup is not right. And when God began to show me spirit, I'm in food in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. I had to line up and obey with what God was saying. I got to let it go. Tammy, I'm speaking about Tammy. Now this is my testimony. Hallelujah. Because I want to please God. I want to live holy, to be that woman of God that he's called me to be and sent me to be. Hallelujah people of God, huh? just because it's there, that don't mean you have to touch it. Huh? Many things are there for you to touch it. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? When, whenever you are getting ready to, hallelujah, go in the sanctification process and God is dealing with you to show you some things in the spirit realm, huh? the enemy is going to send an assignment and send a device. You may get an old boyfriend that they may come and call your number or may come in your inbox showing interest. Hallelujah. When you were out there in the world completely, he wouldn't stun you. But when God began to talk, then he wanted to talk. That's the work of the enemy. Hallelujah. Saints of God, women of God, get your house in order. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy steal your heavenly inheritance. He lost it and he don't want you to have it. Well, this is God's servant, Tammy Cotton, with Fire Deliverance Ministries. Follow the ministry. Share the... Uh, um the um the page and subscribe to the channel so the gospel can go forth hallelujah in a mighty way hallelujah thank you jesus be blessed be encouraged be empowered on this friday jesus loves you and the woman of god does amen